the crack which has opened in the Sundoka volcano eruption, the old crater from the 13th century, is now extended to four kilometers. The area that is known for its past eruption in the 13th century, when there was another eruption bigger than what we ever saw somewhere like uh, Fagadesville, it was in this area. It was uh, scary. It was described in medieval times by many of the sources that we have. And now it has happened again. This has extended beyond our dreams, beyond whatever we have seen in this actually in this de decade, 2020s up to the 2030 probably. This is huge. You can see that it has several centers, but all along that old crater system. As you can see here in this uh, latest uh, images, is already has flown and r created rivers and in some parts cascading from the old crater down toward the uh, area, mostly toward the north. One of the branches toward the south is going toward the Grindavik. Well, we know this is the cascade. You will see better images of it now, right now, yes. And some of the, uh, some part which is toward the south, toward the Grindavik, will die out. We know that the end bits of this era, you know, fissure eruptions, usually die out very quick. And the central parts will take over and we will have bigger craters than what it already existed. Something bigger than the Fagadesvial we're expecting to happen. We have to monitor the situation. Some of these bigger craters will erupt. The eruption level is actually 100 to 200 cubic meters per second. That's huge, massive. This is the scariest scale of the eruption. And I have marks on this map. You can see it here. And uh, that is the area just as uh, north of the Sondonkor, which is the uh, old 13th century crater area. People who have booked in the Blue Lagoon are lucky now because they are the ones who can legally go there and actually witness this beautiful phenomenon. If they want to, uh, they can jump into the <laughs> spa and just take a shower and wash themselves also. <laughs>